City under-18s made it two from two in defence of their Northern Division title after they saw off the challenge of Sunderland at the weekend. The opening exchanges belonged to City and after Sam Tatum's dangerous cross that missed everybody, the ball was recycled and French youth international Thierry Ambrose showed his athleticism with an attempt that rattled the crossbar. Bersan Salina, who scored a brilliant free kick last weekend against Blackburn, was next to go close, but Black Cats keeper Purvis clawed his attempt away. It didn't take long, though, until the host took the lead. City's impressive high tempo forced Sunderland into relinquishing possession, and when the ball found Denzel Boada, the forward made no mistake from 12 yards. and it could have been two just minutes later. Tom Holland, who was the heartbeat in the midfield, fed Isaac Buckley, whose cross was turned goalwards by Ambrose, but Purvis was in the right place at the right time. And the French youngster should have notched his first of the season soon after. His deep run from midfield was perfectly timed to receive from the main, but his shot went skyward. The second half began in the same vein as the first, with City making all the running. And for the second time in the match, Ambrose unluckily saw his effort bounce back off the woodwork. Those missed chances nearly came back to haunt Jason Wilcox's side, as Sunderland were awarded a penalty after Bersan Salina was a judge to have handled. The protests were waved away, but it didn't matter, as Charlie Albinson guessed the right way to save the spot kick. That save only buoyed City forward, and the points were finally wrapped up in the 73rd minute. Boada skipping through the Black Cats' defence and keeping his composure before coolly slotting past Purvis. Next up for City are Everton, and they will be looking to avenge last season's Premier League Cup final defeat by the Toffees.